Come back, everybody. Come on. Woo! That's how we do it. We're having a good time. You're on the Jury Class Show, so make sure you are subscribed to the Jury Class Show YouTube channel. Uh, so you'll be the first to know when we uh, put a new program in. And everyone in the studio, make sure you're subscribed. Before you go, I'll get you to subscribe as always. You know, so thank you. Anyway, um, coming up on the show, my next guest. Hmm, this guy's got some swag, though. You know what I'm talking about? Well, this is where the guy is. Let's have a look. We'll be right back. Take it away. I'm a cloying of a Call of Duty black, yo. Tell your missus that it's whisper pink and hit the drink and wait for them trips to sink. And cause, well, look at the suspicious inkling. This chick just think things are big and she'll bail when your ship is sinking. Ah, look at that, look at that. Like, get your shit together, nothing half ass. Looking, looking past that. Die, that's my fault. Nah, nah, man, but the mad life, fuck it. Kind of rap for them passionate people. Yeah, for the freedom of Royce, for that kid in the kip, the crowd screaming at night, that choice needing a voice and not being a Roy. Get the switch, I'm dreaming, I'm working. Dublin battle rapper. Rap Thor, also actually an MC, but uh, yeah, no, listen, I, I come from a bit of an unorthodox background. Battle rap in Ireland ain't really prevalent, but um, yeah, for the last ten years, I've been, I've been, I've been over ten years, I've been smashing it on the battle rap circuit. Uh, and here's a little bit of what we do on the battle rap scene. You'll see a dog and me come out like I'm a serious black. You want to? You need to speak so carefully. Haha, <laughs> your body type is chemotherapy. <laughs> Actively part of Premier Battles Ireland, the Premier Battles roster in general. It's the biggest league to ever open up over here in this country, and the opportunity right now are crazy. And um, it certainly worked for me. I've met some crazy people through it. Can't wait to meet you guys on the 28th on the G Request show with my man Chris Onos. And thank you very much for having me, guys. It's blessed. Thanks so much for the support. Love it. Absolutely love it. So we are up with Dan Dan. <laughs> 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 All right, no music. You just yeah, 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 that's fine. All right, all good. Yeah. Okay, don't roll yet. Okay, coming up, please have some welcome, Dublin hip hop rappers. I'm a crying of a Call of Duty black, yo. Tell your missus that it's wistful pink and hit the drink and wait for them trips to sink. And cuz, well, look at the suspicious England. This chick just pink things up in and she'll bail with shit. Thank you, thank you so much. How you keeping, man? I'm keeping good, bro. Keep Come on, give, good. Him, give him one more time, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to rap music, it's not that easy, though, isn't it, yeah? No, it's not that easy, bro. Especially here in Ireland, you know yourself. Uh, even today, the most, I suppose, the most listened to music in our country is trap music. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I've been doing hip hop here in this country over 10 years. Years. Yeah. So when I started, it was stigmatized. Sure. Uh, a lot of people be like, you know, Irish people can't rap, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that was really for some time. There was, a time where, <laughs> yeah, there was a time where it was true. I couldn't yeah, rap. Yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah. you can't get good unless you start off bad. True, uh, true. So, so we're like 20 years behind America, so we're bound to be 20 years less evolved than America. So we're catching, we're catching up now. And you That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hip hop music. So they come back to yourself, you know. Uh, originally, you're from Dublin, are you? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. originally, I'm from the uh, Ballymumby family. Mm. Uh, and then we moved out towards the North, the North uh, Avenue, so North Dublin. But I grew up in, in uh, sort of South Dublin, but it's like a misplaced North, north side. Uh, <laughs> so Dawkin. Yeah. For anybody that knows, it's the posh end. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I, grew, I come from Dawkin initially, yeah, well. Yeah, I'm raised there, so yeah. I identify with from that. Yeah, like things you just mentioned when you talk about hip hop music, you know, and you're doing all this battle rapping and stuff yeah. like that, you know, for yourself, what do you think about the hip hop music scene in as it is right as now? As a whole, or just in Ireland? Yes, just in Ireland. No, just in Ireland. Yeah. Right now, it's amazing. I'm mm. not going to lie. We've just started the biggest uh, battle league to ever open up in Ireland. It's Premier Battles UK, and it's ran by Shotty Hara, who's a major Sony artist. Uh, and Briggsy, mm -hmm. and they're UK based. Now they've opened up a league here, and we're actually looking for younger lads at the moment, younger lads and girls to come get involved. They're all young in the audience. Come on, yeah, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Like, like that, like I said, we're, we're niche culture right now, but opening the doors up for young people. I know it kept me off the streets, you know, from Dawkins, right? I know for a fact I was more interested in, in writing rhymes than going and getting involved with the wrong types of people, so it's like. Some kids, they find hip hop to be relatable and cool and it still feels a bit street. So that's the closest outlet to the street mm. to kind of pull them from that environment, I feel. Yeah. You know, because kids can look at you like, oh, he does hip hop, he's a bit cool. So they'll listen to you more so than they would listen to even a teacher. True. Um, you know, so you, you're finding those environments that kids can develop and the idea of using words and testing your brain and competing with other people, mm -hmm. that develops you as a person as well. Yeah. You also develop patience and how you treat people outside of a battle rap is never the same as how you 
you know, yeah, you know, tell you yeah. Other. But the only thing sometimes, you know, some people see uh, rap music mm -hmm. as a very kind of rock kind of way because yeah. you know sometimes the F word is used, sometimes people kind of use that to kind of beef things like that, you know. Yeah. So that is another kind of stigma that I think is like a thing that is hard to get off people's mind. You know, than... those, you know, the, the F word we won't say it here because it's your own. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. But the F word it, it shouldn't be obliterated. The mm. word shouldn't be removed. There's times in the, when you really need to say that word, you know, when mm. things go against you. <laughs> and you just want to say what, you, what you're feeling. So we, as long as it's not hateful to another person, to their ethnicity, to their gender, to whatever, you should be able to speak freely. Mm. You know, say whatever word comes to your mind. And if you are frustrated and it's the F word, guess what? Yeah, but what about where we kind of like someone is saying the F word and you're nodding your head like you don't know if they're telling you that kind of a way. Oh, you know, okay. So you feel like you, you're the one being on the end of the insult. No, I don't want to be in trouble on that one. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's true because a lot, a lot of hip hop and, and a lot of people on the underground scene they write about this imaginary third person. Yeah. Sometimes I really think they're talking to themselves, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? The, these bars seem to be almost a diss track on a song. So it's like you're battling yourself, mm -hmm. you know, because you're talking about someone that hasn't even been mentioned for the whole song. Mm. And in a way, a person listening to that, those type of brag tracks, they can feel like they're the one on the end of the attack. Mm. In, in the same way, whereas if you use your hip hop to make a song about something people relate to, mm. addiction, homelessness, you know, an outlet, and people can see themselves in those type of songs, then the message becomes positive. Mm. So it depends. If you want to be a braggadocious type of rapper and have lyrics that are really about yourself and people might feel offended, or if you want to tell a story, and use your art in a different way. Mm. Like I perceive personally the F word as filler yeah. because it doesn't need to be there. Mm -hmm. You know, surely you should have a decent enough vocabulary to be able to explain things without having to go to filler. Man, this dude needs to become an ambassador for this time. Yeah. I like it. Come on. Woo! You know, you know, you know your. I mean, you know your book completely. You know everything about what you're talking about. And that's the beauty that. of it. You know, Absolutely so that's that. fantastic. Now, for yourself, um. This year, I know you guys have so much things going on. You don't need to say it. If you want to say it, that's no, fine. I love to know. I'm happy. Yeah, to be. yeah. Happy so, to be. Uh, what kind of project you guys are going to be working towards for this year? Now? Wait, this one's really, really nervous, right? So, I, I grew up here in Dublin, and we all listen to Aslan, right? We all know Christy yeah. Dignam and Aslan. We listen. Because of this person here who grew up playing guitar with Christy Dignam, it's my friend Declan. He brought me to Bowmount Hospital to meet him and he asked me to sample one of his songs. So remember what I said at the start about people in this country listening to trad? Yeah. Now the idea is to take hip-hop into that world of trad by, by basically collaborating with artists in that world and legitimizing hip-hop in this country in mm. that way. Mm. So it's like if your audience won't come to us, fair enough, I'll go to you. Mm. So and, and that guy being our voice, in, in my opinion, Christy Dignam is the voice of Dublin. Wow. That guy being our voice. <laughs> the best international record for battle raps mm. from Ireland. Uh, I think I'm 14 till up against English people and I'm going to be 15 until as of February 25th. Wow, wow, amazing, amazing. <laughs> well, think, if, you, if you ever go on a uh, battle rap, you will shit your pants on that. <laughs> it, it, it is tough because you don't know what your opponent has for you, you know, Man, and, no, and, and it's just crazy, you know. Yeah. That's the thing. I come from a freestyle background, but these mm. are these are written and prepared. You've got three months to break someone down, so you can research them online, look up their private life. Yeah, it's vicious. It's a lot it's to go in. Vicious. It's vicious. It's <laughs> vicious. <laughs> vicious. Make a choice now. Um. Okay, Jim. Before you go, um, I just want my audience to feel, you know, some of your kind of uh, way of how you do your thing. You know, Music. um, I want to kind of listen to some of your lyrics and see what way you kind of jump through. If I feel like I might, I might jump in. We'll yeah, let's go, let's go. See, you know. We'll be a dance hall. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm we'll see. going to be a dance hall, man. It's, it, there's not much tempo differences. I can go with you. All right, go. before we get Dean to do anything, I thought, Dean, on this show, um, we have the game here, right? Okay. So I want to play this game, right? Uh, if you can win this, the hip hop will have it. If not, well. Hip hop will have it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready? I hope so. What Five, I four, three, two, one. See, I've already buy them already, so even if you win, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to look for this number. Okay, I've got so many numbers here that I'm trying to get a winner, and you're nearly there if you can get this right. So the number I'm just looking for, it's really, really simple. I'm looking for 54. 54. Okay. This okay. is a simple number. So if you're ready, let's make it happen. Touch it. Five, Five four. Three, two, one. You ready? Ready. Okay. You can take it off. Yeah, take it off. Okay. Let's see. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Oh. Oh, come on, then. Oh. Sorry, then. I really do want to make you happy. <laughs>
unfortunately, I need a win on this show today. If I don't get a win, that would be so sad. Now, then, um, you coming from Kundaki and the other rest of the other areas where you live, you know, yeah. what kind of other impact are you really putting in your community in terms of your uh, kind of music? You in, what impact? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I know for a fact I used to walk up the road and a lot of the younger lads would be running up the road going, oh, Dean's bit is a verse. And I'm putting a bad impact on those young people because they're watching battles from a young age that they shouldn't probably watch, right? Yeah. So that they're, yeah, my nephew, for example, he's seven years old and he's coming up saying to his ma, Ryan, start a battle rap, Ryan. So he's now using his ma as the practice dummy, right? That's mm -hmm. his mother. Yeah. So that's not <laughs> it. <laughs> so there are positives and negatives, but the positive is, is that there's not only one way to live. You can also go and get involved in the arts. You don't need to be involved hanging around the roads with lads that are going nowhere. Mm -hmm. and that's the truth. You might think these people are going somewhere now when you're looking at them. They have a few quid now, but it's a short life. It's a quick life. If you go to hip hop, I've been doing it over 10 years here. And you, the people I've met, the journey I've, I've been on, the countries I've visited, mm -hmm. um, it's much more positive. So I want young people in those areas to take that, that as, as a source of I don't know. A way of inspiration. You know, to inspire, inspire, inspire them. And they yeah. try and move forward. But hopefully, Absolutely. hopefully. Absolutely. We'll see. All right, Dean, before you go, give us one thing. What do you have for us before you go on the show? Have you okay. any lyrics or something? You guys, if you just want to copy the metronome of a rap for me and engage with me. Brother, what's a war to you? Feeling proper hope, but on the surface doesn't seem as though I need to drop a war to be good to you. Born for it's come see it. Countries that don't see it. Young ones in the dirt, but do we run or do we torn be it? Bum dub living in the poor, but your board's visa. Dumb struck, chilling, been a pure Egypt. Some piece of shit and even worse, diva. Please believe and see beneath the FIFA and the born pizza. Lead and we become Caesar. Upheaval. Even when it looks evil, shush people. Read them like a book and keep them feeling like a stuck needle. Looking in the dust, I feet and mucked, I feeling rough heaving. Even Elon Musk ain't keeping up and he's a both sleep. Last your lion, so tell me that you're Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 job today it has not been easy but this is what the show is all about there's a whole lot of hard work a lot of testimony a lot of creativities anything you can think of or share today on the show so i want to say thank you all for coming on the show my viewers at home this is all gonna wrap the show up for today so we're coming away this time take care don't forget to subscribe to the Jerry Press show thank you